in this discussion we will discuss about copy method in other terms it's a duplicate method in ORM if you missed previous video related how to override write method please check link is given in description this copy method will allow to create duplicate record set based on given records let me give you one example from front end side for the easy understand here in the student profile you can see this action menu in this menu you have you can see this duplicate action and once you will click here it will create a new record behind this logic having a copy method let me show you how we can override this method going to terminal okay yes here in the student profile we have to use as a def then after we can use as a copy and then after we have to pass one parameter is default values by default it's none and uh, we are just trying to call super method school underscore student self and then copy default equal to default values so this default we can also use like this default after we have to return rdn that's it again going to terminal for the double check let's test the same like it's actually working or not in front and side going to browser and again I click to duplicate so you can see it's created successfully and there is no any error so now we can use that method I will try to print the default values here default after we have to print self record set and again we have to use uh, sorry again we have to print the return statement restart the service going to browser and uh, click to this duplicate action so you can see this is created a new duplicate record in default value don't have any default value after like self record set having a existing uh, the existing record set and this is new created record set and it's written a new record set so like this way you can override this copy method and copy method is using to duplicate record you can also add default values here like default active equal to false restart the service and okay yes it's true we have to add as a dictionary going to browser and create a duplicate you can see this newly created record set the default this active field we added as a false so that's why you can see it's unchecked so like this way you can add any specific value before duplicate the record it is also possible simply you have to add in default parameter 
and action or whatever the field name you want to add the super method will call along with this default values but the main thing is if you can see here this default is a true or we can just use this name the student name here we can uh, use copy equal to false so by default it's a uh, true this copy parameter and the using this copy equal to false it means while creating a new duplicate record using that duplicate action the name this name field should be blank or if you have any default uh, like a default attribute you used so it will call that default attribute let me give you one example one more example to start the service going to this browser and if I'm click to here you can see this XYZ student should be blank you can see here that uh, we created successfully created new record with this name field blank because we added here this copy equal to false also we can use as a default parameter student copy so it means like whenever you create a new record or calling at this copy method the time this default attribute is working the default attribute will call automatically so like I'm just discarding this one and click to this create button you can see this default value is appearing here the same as like 1900 but if I'm click to here in duplicate so you can see this student copy that uh, default parameter it's called automatically so you can use like this way using this copy equal to false and default value if you want to use default value one more logic is if you don't want to use this both here but you want to override that field name it is also possible like self dot name default name we can also use like this way so whenever you click to this that duplicate method uh, that duplicate action it will override that uh, name and it will add prefix as a copy and that uh, student name again going to browser and you can see here this is a simple student copy now I'm click to duplicate so you can see here this copy then after student inside this bracket you can see this student copy if I'm click to here again duplicate so you can see it's a copy then after like that name if I'm click here again you can see like this way you can also override default values if you have one more thing is also possible like this is a record set so you can add here like active equal to true sorry right now you can see here this active is a true by default so we can use this total phase like 500 you can use both way either before super call you have to add into this default parameter or if you want to update after this super method you can use like uh, that return variable name then after dot that field name and its value let's see 
going to browser and web launch you can see here the total fees is three rupees name is a web lunch if i'm click here in this action the duplicate action you can see this the name change plus that total fees also change so like this way you can call any other method from here or before then after you can change the default values from before super call and after super call you can use like this way and yes one more thing is there is a one decorator if you want to use it's a return like at the rate api dot return and here we have to use as self then after lambda dot id oops sorry returns this is a self we have to use here and then after using this lambda again i am restart the service and uh, oh we have this issue okay self in a string parameter we have to pass sorry for that again i'm going to browser and try to click this duplicate you can see we always appear this new id and this new record set this is up to you you have to use this decorator or not otherwise it's working fine without decorator i hope you have a clear picture about this copy method and how to duplicate this record and while duplicating this record you have to add uh, default values using the copy attribute and as well as the default attribute or you can just use that uh, that feature inside this copy method it's up to you if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session